Hi folks, it's Max from GalaxyS4Root.com. So I've got a quick ROM overview of Fox Sound ROM for Galaxy S4 uh, GTI 9505. You can also th install this ROM on a T-Mobile Galaxy S4 or also AT&T Galaxy S4 and also Canadian Galaxy S4 SGHI337M. Now for installing on AT&T, since it has a locked bootloader, you'll need to install a, a custom kernel such as K-Tweaker or I think Fox kernel is also works well. Um, I've actually got it on my AT&T Galaxy S4 and uh, the good thing with the Galaxy S4 is uh, a lot of these ROMs are compatible so you no longer have to wait for ROM for just AT&T Galaxy S4. You can install GTI 9505, you can install T-Mobile ROMs. I mean that just kind of opens up a ton of new ROMs you can install and a lot of features. One of the main features of this ROM is that um, you have a call button right in the contacts there and also um, if you do call, that's the dialer by the way, uh, you do get a uh, uh, call recording so if you need call recording and that mod's not available for your uh, T-Mobile or AT&T um, you can flash this or Canadian, you can flash this ROM and get it. Of course if you do install on T-Mobile Galaxy S4 you're gonna lose um, Wi-Fi calling off, uh, obviously because this is not a T-Mobile ROM uh, but everything works out of the box and uh, my 4G LTE is working just fine with K-Tweaker kernel and let me show you my more networks here mobile networks um, you will have to change this to LTE sometimes it auto switches and also make sure your APN is set to the ATT uh, LTE which is the PTA and uh, if you give it a second, it will connect to LTE just fine. Um, yeah, so very nice ROM, and you see I get 4G. You might see 4G instead of 4G LTE. Um, to check that, you can go to About Status, and you'll see that I'm actually on LTE. So it will probably switch to HSPA when it goes to um, the regular 4G. So on these custom ROMs, don't worry. Just Just make sure you go... Uh, check your about device and uh, status to see what you're connected to really and then you can figure out um, if it's the ROM or not. Usually it's not, it's just user error. Um, also this ROM is completely de-bloated. You'll not find a single, well you'll find some Samsung apps like Optical, Reader, S-Memo, S-Translator, S-Voice, S-Planner. Uh, so if you need some of the other Samsung apps, um, this ROM probably not going to work for you. But uh, this ROM does feature a ton of cool stuff. Let me show you in settings. And if you go to my device, you'll get Foxhound Extra, uh, where you can install Expose Installer. Um, go ahead and hit the Install Update, reboot once, and then go to Modules. Make sure App Settings and Not Attach Expose is checked on. Reboot again, and then you'll be able to actually uh, make use of these. Uh, the DPI manager. This basically allows to, this is expose app settings that allows to run any apps in uh, phone or tablet mode. Let's actually just try one real quick for those of you who never tried it. So I've got my Gmail there and I'm going to go ahead and run it in tablet mode. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my Gmail here, turn it on, um, change the screen DPI to something a little bit, oh, 600 by 1024. And then I'm going to change DPI to like 220, or actually 240. You might have to play with it to get it just, just right. And let me go ahead and open it up, and I think that does enable tablet mode. There you go. So the font is a little bit smaller, um, so I can, you know, mess with the DPI value, make it higher to make the fonts bigger, or you can change the font scale also. So that's nice, and also you get a status bar center, uh, not attached, Exposed, I think that's how you say it. Uh, this one allows you to customize your status bar. Um, you can actually change all of this, and you can see that I've got a center clock, and I use this app to do that. And also a bunch of stuff you can change with framework, um, notification panel, all of this stuff you can customize. Let me show you another example. I've enabled lock screen in my rotation, so I can actually see sideways so that's nice that is very nice um, and also sound messaging you can increase number of uh, SMS recipients from one default to 100 if you want increase the MMS size limit all that good stuff um, so very nice and also you get additional menus here 
Uh, I wouldn't really mess with it too much. You can also uh, enable init.dscripts. And also, if you want to upgrade to the next version, you can always go just go to here, go to the ROM, and check for ROM update and update it on the go. So that is very nice. And also make sure you're on Wi-Fi so you don't waste your bandwidth uh, while downloading ROMs. But uh, there's no TouchWiz. This is completely Nova Launcher here. Um, you know, just Foxhound, very fast ROM. And also if you do overclock it, it can be even faster. Uh, obviously I got K-Tweaker app because I have a um, at and K-Tweaker kernel installed but you probably won't see it. Um, but you do also get performance menus uh, in system settings in Foxhound Extra where you can overclock. Um, so very nice ROM for one of the first versions of Foxhound. Uh, it's looking very good and I'm sure it's gonna get better and better. And as always, don't forget to uh, donate to the developer of this ROM. I'll, uh, I'll have the don donate link on my site. And also, if you have a Galaxy S4, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxyS4root.com. Uh, we update you once a week with ROM of the Week, tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit the like button for me here, subscribe button down there. And I'll see you guys soon. Uh, stay high on Android. Uh.